Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. So here's a first and ten at the 38. from the gun. Herbert. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written him off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. But still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. Here's a great example right there. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here they're right back out there after watching the fumble go the other way still in control of this game but that needs to serve as a wake-up call because they're not in the clear yet no the message should be clear that fortunes can change pretty quickly when you turn the ball over you got to take care of it otherwise that lead could slip away quickly great way to start the drive 20 big ones in a first down Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Let's go. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Lynch. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Five, five. 53 is the mark. 53, check that. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert escaping the pressure right. He'll try and run it. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. The second down carry for Irvin. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Dumped 
dumps it off for Irvin. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. Complete. It's Irvin. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs, and their run game got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. season and the Panthers they widen their lead and remember partner that's a rookie quarterback back there apparently he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly at three touchdown passes you're right he looks comfortable what are they doing anything in particular well they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit they did tell us that bottom line he's really good Extra point forthcoming. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A nice run on first down gets him six yards to the 31. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Out of the gun, Stanford. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Gotta love the catch. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Stafford now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. Now Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made. No grounding. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. And a good pickup there. He gets about six up to midfield. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the 50 at Stafford. Johnson's got it complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down now, Irvin. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. To back good plays have them on the move on first down here's Irvin and an alley to run and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 11 yards and a Panther first down for a lot of guys playing this game there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle he's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Second and nine now. 
pressure. He's brought down. Damon Harrison bringing in 341 pounds of power for the sack. But no takes to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Back to throw. Herbert throwing right, and that's complete. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he could break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he could scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's some guys, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They go to Johnson again. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Go, go, go. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. Kill, turn up. Lions go for it on fourth. It's Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards for the Lions there, the first down. Stafford now, 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And this will be good for a pickup of 9 to the 46. Give him 9 there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Stafford going to get this one to Johnson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. That's a corner that got in there for the sack. Dante Jackson. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury.
After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford, he's going to take a shot, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now that turnover might just about do it here. Fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. A couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. They'll run with Irvin. 
Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Right back to Irvin. Seven yards there and a first down. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. On first down, Irvin looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He was brought down by Devon Kennard. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. They'll buy some time right. Now the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. The Panthers on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and ten. On third down, Irvin. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive... That does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at the 20. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun. Stafford catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 